Okay, coming back, talking to head football coach Joe Moorhead. Coach, a uh, open week. Did uh, that come at the right time for you this season? It did. With uh, you know, after seven, um, you know, kids have, kids have worked really hard during the course of the year, and uh, you know that bye week allows you to, to recharge mentally, rehab physically, and um, you know do two things during the week in practice: get your young guys a bunch of developmental reps, and then uh, then get a jump start on on your upcoming opponent. Looking back at the Western Michigan game, you led 17 to nothing and probably played your best football of the season during that first half. Yeah, played a great first quarter uh, of, of complimentary football. Um, had an unfortunate special teams gaffe uh, that allowed them to get on the board and kind of take momentum. For as good as we played in the first quarter, we played equally as bad in the, in the second quarter, but we're still able to you know, fight back, score on our, our opening possession of, of the uh, you know, second half and uh, got to a one-touchdown game in the fourth and, and unfortunately weren't able to close it out. Coach, to the best of your knowledge in that Western Michigan game, was there ever a decision not to resume on Saturday? That uh, is above my pay grade. I know the uh, athletic directors uh, from both schools uh, were meeting and uh, having uh, discussions with the Mid-American Conference, so I would imagine that was probably one of the, uh, one of the items on the docket, but uh, it was never communicated to us that uh, it was going to be canceled. I think they were going to try to let that thing uh, play out, uh, obviously with, you know, student athlete, you know, welfare in mind. With the open week coming and going, do we have any updates on Alex Adams or Bennett Adler? Um, Adler uh, is a full go. Uh, we're expecting him to be ready to roll. We'll get back to practice this afternoon. And uh, Alex is still um, questionable. Uh, Coach, uh, as we've kind of talked about in the show, but we've really seen Taj Bullock's role grow from just a few gadget plays here and there to like a true Swiss Army knife. What uh, kind of sparked that, whether, whether it be in practice or in a game, or was that kind of predetermined uh, from the beginning of the season that his role would expand as the year went on? Yeah, going into, into the season, you know, we determined that he was one of our best, you know, skill playmakers. And if he wasn't a starting quarterback, there needed to be a role for him uh, on the field to make a positive contribution to the offense. And then uh, a lot of that really uh, on a weekly basis is dictated by what's our game plan and how, how are we being defended. And, um, you know, it was, it was a week where it worked out well. Uh, he gets reps at quarterback during the week. And then certainly, uh, you know, as the tight end or a wide receiver and uh, two for two pass and I think six catches for 54, two rushing touchdowns and, you know, some other nice rushes. So it was, uh, you know, good to see, um, you know, Taj, you know, play his best game of the season. Uh, moving on to the game this week, uh, Oran Singleton's really been a big piece of EMU's offense this year. With him being a former Zip, is there any kind of any anything you are predetermining with him? What does he kind of bring to the table for that team that you've yeah. already seen? Yeah, they've they've done a nice job with their with their passing offense. Uh, they're very balanced, so they can do both things well. Uh, you know, Cole Snyder is a guy, a Buffalo transfer, who's you know got 1,500 yards passing, seven touchdowns, and does a nice job. You know, distributing the ball to the playmakers. I think. Uh, Marcus Allen, the Wisconsin transfers, their leading receiver by yards, but I think Man Man or Singleton, uh, I think he has 30, 39 catches, I believe, if I'm not, not mistaken. So you know, they spread the ball around. You know, he's you know very dynamic, very quick, tough to cover in the slot, and uh, you know certainly glad to see he got another opportunity. I uh, hope he has a great season, and just not against us. <laughs> So obviously this week you would assume you're focused on Eastern Michigan preparing specifically for the Eagles. Last week though with the bye, were there any different things that you had the team doing that you wouldn't be able to do in a, in a regular game week? Yeah, we, we um, you know, came in and, and went over, uh, you know, the performance indicators, you know, in our uh, normal, you know, Monday meeting. Uh, supposed to play margin turnover, margin third down in red zone and special teams. And then, uh, you know, for our practice week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, uh, got a bunch of good individual and group work. Uh, and then for our team periods where we go, you know, Akron versus Akron, you know, we flipped the reps and got the young guys, a majority of them. Uh, so it was good to see a lot of developmental work th for guys who, you know, for the most part this season have been working scout teams and running, you know, running off of cards to get to run our, our systems. Um, and then we're able to get, uh, you know, three days worth of, uh, you know, of a head start on Eastern Michigan.